This is the second video that I'm creating for Ush class at Miami Valley. And this week in class, we've been talking about chapter 37 and the American Pageant, which is our textbook for the year. And this chapter is entitled The Eisenhower Era. And after reading over the chapter, the thing that hit me the hardest was when it was talking about how women were starting to earn their place in the workforce. And this hits a special place to me because for years, I was told by specific people that will remain anonymous that it wasn't important what job I got because I was a woman and I was not meant to have a big and powerful job that they were created for men and that I was just here because I was to satisfy man that woman was just here to meet men's needs and their desires that they have and that took great offense to me over the years and it pushed me down because it caused me to lose my motivation because I was thinking, wow, if I'm not here for any other purpose than that, then why am I trying so hard to achieve my ultimate goal? And my goal, I wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer or something big and important. I wanted to achieve greatness. And then once I heard this and I kept hearing it, it really just shot me down. And after reading this chapter in class, it sparked that just instant motivation in me again. And I was like, wow, I can do this. If they did it in history, then why can't I do it too? And I've just dealt with a lot of chauvinistic people. And over the years, that's really just taken a toll on my motivation. And I honestly have gotten so much out of just reading this. And what it says is, exploding employment opportunities for women in the 1950s unleashed a groundswell of social and psychological shocks that mounted to tidal wave proportions in the decades that followed. From one perspective, women's surge into the workplace was nothing new, only a return to the days when the United States was an agricultural nation and men and women alike toiled on the family farm. But the urban age was not the agricultural age, and women's new dual role as both workers and homemakers raised urgent questions about family life and traditional definitions of gender differences. And back in this time era, women were just at home. They were just housewives. They did the cleaning. They took care of the kids. They took care of the husbands. And they didn't do anything. And this is the time where women stepped up and they're like, we can do this. We are so powerful that we can do everything just as well as they can. And on top of that, clean a house. And it said that the total white-collar workers in 1900 was 17.8% women, and that is really low. But then in 2000, it shot up to 73.0% of white-collar workers were women. And that really left an impression on me because, I mean, that's so many. And they did it just as good as any other man did. And I just think it's great. And I've just learned so much from this because... I know that one day I will achieve